Okay, this is the problem with these games. It's not the difficulty, it's this. The walking back to the boss every time you die. It's just boring and a huge waste of time. There should be a lamp right in front of the boss. I don't see why there shouldn't be. It's not like the boss is easier if there's a checkpoint right in front of it. If anything, it's better. Like in Hotline Miami, when you die, press R to restart. Instantly, get back in there. Just keep fighting that boss, and if it's too difficult for you, well then just turn around and grind on all the enemies you had to fight to get here. But no. They want you to go through it all over again, past all the goddamn enemies. I mean, there, there's nothing even to do here. You can just walk past all the enemies. And, yeah, that's technically the trick. Just walk past all the enemies. But even then, there's two problems here. One, you're still walking past all the enemies. You still have to do all this walking, which you don't need to do. And you shouldn't have to. It's boring, and it's a waste of time. And two... If you can just walk past the enemies, why are they there?
problem with this area specifically is that you can kind of get lost. Like, you, I took a wrong turn and ended up dying. I'm dying on the way to the boss I've already reached. Which is just a pain in the ass. Now, the lamps in this game, or the bonfires in the other games, they're basically the save points. And in old school RPGs, they would put save points in front of the boss. And that was usually all you needed to get hyped for the boss, because you'd see it and think, oh, the dungeon's almost over, I'm about to fight, they're giving me a respite, just in case this boss is difficult and I'm stuck at him. They don't want me to have to go through this entire part all over again if I get stuck on this one difficult enemy, as opposed to all the smaller enemies I've already defeated. But no, this game and the others want you to fight them all over again. But also apparently not, since you can just walk past all of them. Oh man, look at this place right here. Look how nice it is. This big open area that's completely absent of enemies right in front of the boss door. This next issue is more of an issue with, not really an issue about the lamps, but there's no build-up to these guys. That's my other problem with these games. There's never any real build-up to any of these bosses, like in a gameplay way. Sometimes there's narrative-wise, like with Gwen, but gameplay-wise, not really. Like, my favorite part of Bloodborne is Old Yarn, because there's that guy on the Gatling gun throughout the half of the level when you're leading up to him he's shooting you with his gatling gun and he's like and he's yelling things at you he's antagonizing you he's building a relationship with the player which means it's way more satisfying when you finally get to him and like every other boss in this game he's difficult now, with these guys, the Shadow of Yarnum, just three dudes that pop out of nowhere and, like, gangbang you. Like, what are they? Like, they just show up. I don't f care about fighting this guy. The best games, in my opinion, at least best directed, always have villains that antagonize the player and build relationships. So that the player cares when they finally face him. Because if you don't care, then it's not fun, you're not engaged. I don't care about fighting these three guys, and I really don't care about all the enemies I already defeated on the way to them. Which is why I just walk past them, because they're no longer a bit of gameplay for me to experience. They're just an annoying bump in the road I can just step over and ignore.
And if a game makes you want to ignore it, that's basically the death of it. Some bullshit. 